guys thank you so much for watching the videos on the playlist continue to watch the other videos they're so amazing so content rich and objective is to not teach you skills that you regularly find at institutes remember you don't go to institutes to learn some crazy skills you want to learn beyond what institutes can teach you remember institutes no they can't teach you anything right you see you got to understand that you've got to choose course over career choose career over course right okay now in this video i i want to talk about google ads in this playlist particularly about google ads in my channel i'm creating videos about analytics tag manager you can go check the other channel other other playlist as well but this is particularly for google ads and today we will talk about something called product and brand consideration in google display network now question is display network is a display network then why should i be choosing a goal so a lot of people say no i would go create a campaign without a goal and then and then go choose display network and then select the standard display campaign and all right but 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 when you when you choose to create a campaign system will throw you some goals right now if you under if you are if you're already created or if you have already created a display network campaign remember you might be aware display network system gives you two options either you can go bid with cpc or cpm right cpm the cost you you'd want to pay for thousand impressions and cpc the amount you want to pay per click right right now but do you know there is also something called cpe that means you can you can choose to pay only when you get an engagement right you pay for engagement and once the engagement happens people go inside and people see any other videos any other images and all people engage with them you're not charged for them right so it is not something that you would be charged for impressions you would be charged for engagement now those ads are also available now quite often when i talk to google support as well these people have no idea about there is something called cpe exist i am talking and i am saying this after i have checked with them right these people don't know but there is something called cpe in google ads a lot of people say it's only cpc cpm or target roa cpa nn cpc and other things but there's also something called cpe let's go and check that in display network campaign but for that let me take you through display network campaign so display network here standard display network and then go click create a campaign and once you do that i'm not creating a campaign it, it it lasts you to choose all the settings right now when you come to bidding here one moment here yeah. when you when you come to bidding here you have conversion conversion value viewable impressions right so if i say hey viewable impression you would be charged for every 1000 times your ads appear right now what do you viewable impression now when your ad you 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 use a c 50% of your ad for almost one second or not no. Google doesn't charge you for impressions that people didn't even saw, right? Earlier in those days, if your ad was served below the fold, ad was served, but people did not even scroll down, you'd still pay for it. But now Google calls them not impressions, viewable impressions. That means you'll only be charged when 50% of your ad is served in the visible interface for at least one second, right? So when I create a display network campaign, it's giving me conversions. Hey, you want to bid on conversions, right? Now, when you come here, system is giving you a manual set bits or system is automatically maximize conversion maximize conversion is more of a smart bidding strategy where system will automatically bid in such a way that you get more conversions within the budget that you specify or within the bid that you specify I'm sorry. right now you see manual set the amount you bid for each click each click you have the option where you can go and bid per click right so you have cpc you have viewable cpm and you can even bid based on the the smart bidding which is uh maximize conversion but you can even give that that means the target cp also you can give but not I'm, I'm not talking about that i'm talking about something different i'm talking about an option which most of the people who work on google ads for years and they still don't know there's something called this so let's go and check that very option so i create a campaign new campaign but for that first what i have to do is i have to select a campaign type as brand consideration product and now here you come and create a display campaign so I'm creating a campaign. Now, when you come back here, bidding, you have CPE. You see, right? Your CPE, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to create one campaign for you. So I'm, I'm not checking all the settings because I think you might already be aware. If you haven't, just go check all my other videos on my channel. They're very good. They give you a lot of information about Google Ads. Right, you, you might be aware that there's so many other features campaign url options you might be aware you can use a tracking template or you can use value track parameters or you can use value track parameters in the tracking template or you can use utm tags right you can use custom parameters in your tracking template i will create one video on this 
Yeah, when you come back here, you choose audiences, right? When you talk about audiences, you choose affinity and custom affinity. Affinity is long-term interest. If you don't find people who match your affinity, you can create a custom affinity. In market is people who are actively researching. If you find a category that suits your kind of targeting, then you choose them. If not, you can create your own custom in market. Then you have uh, custom in uh, custom in market, and then you have uh, uh, live event targeting. Then you have remarketing and similar audiences. I don't want to go check them. Right, so I'm just I I I, I would rather go with uh, the open targeting. So I select demographics and then targeting expansion. I want to go. So I say, hey, uh, CPE. You see here, right? You pay for engagement. You pay for engagement, right? So I say, hey, I want to pay five rupees per engagement. So when you create an ad, you see, normally when you talk about display ads, you have an ad that you have to upload and you have some described sizes that you have to choose and you know they include 250 cross 250 300 cross 300 and 330 cross 336 728 cross 90 160 cross 600 right you see light box ads now these ads what happens is you know you pay for engagement right so what happens is you create an ad when people put the cursor on the ad the ad gets opened up that's an engagement and in once the ad opens up in that you can put a lot of videos a lot of images and after people go inside interact you will not be charged that means you would be charged for the first interaction that is engagement and once people go inside if you put five six videos also and people go and watch all those five six videos you will still not be charged so these are available in google ads and you can serve these ads on display network when people put their cursor on the ad the ad opens up and and and, and kind of becomes a very big and and people can engage with other elements that you can put in the ad and you don't charge and you're not charged for them right so i i, I would appreciate if you can go and check this as well you know i've tried i've tried running for make marketer it worked quite well we put videos as well and those videos automatically start playing and people all they have to do is just put the cross and it'll open up right they worked amazing for brand and uh, we we use these kind of ads to certain audience in our funnel that we have and uh, yeah that's how it works so i just wanted to share it with you that this feature is also available most of people don't up don't, don't properly utilize them so yeah you can try if it works out wonderful thank you so much subscribe to other videos also subscribe to the channel watch the other videos in my channel and uh, yeah just keep learning keep growing and uh, remember choose career over course do not go to institutes they don't teach you nothing they don't teach you anything right thank you so much you go to institute to learn real skills but real skills are never taught in institutes institutes are not marketing companies institutes don't have clients they don't know anything right and a lot of people say you need coding and program uh, digital marketing people say no they don't have no idea coding is very important if you want to become an effective digital marketer and try and set up some amazing amazing innovative creative strategies in terms of tracking you got to be aware about the coding and not that you want to become a programmer but you really need these skills and uh, that is where you become an effective digital marketer using the true power of Google Tag Manager. Thank you so much. And I would come back with another video soon. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you.